has been made famous right here in Buffalo, but not without a little bit of controversy. Of course, there is constant debate over who has the best, over who has the best. Folks, welcome back to not Paramount Plus, not Netflix, not Hulu, not Tubi, another blockbuster episode of Buffalo Wing Reviews. And we're calling in the big guns for this one. I never like to draw attention to what some may say is my competition, but let's face it, you know that Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates get along just well. All right, so with that said, we're welcoming Buffalo Wing Coalition, Luke, Nick, Tom, and we got the full house here. Gents, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us here. It's Frickin' 716, we're ordering wings, let's do it. Seriously, we are here at 376 Gypsy Parlor, a spot not necessarily known for their wings, but I'm looking at a platter of wings that seem to have delivered up front here, Jets. Look pretty damn good, yeah. Yeah, throughout the years we've heard some really good things about this place, we just never got here, so. So it's time to do it. We met like almost a half a decade ago. Obviously, I know you guys have been doing the account longer than then. Over then, what's been the most surprising thing you guys have run into with the account or maybe something that caught you off guard or you didn't see coming? How everybody loves their local corners ever. And if they're number one stop. Of course, it's like something you grew up on as a kid, right? Yeah, you'll, you hear about like 15 various places that this place is the best, this place is the best, but like everybody in Buffalo puts out great. Seriously, and you uh, guys do a good job of breaking so, that down with your tiers. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I appreciate the tiers, not just putting Barbell on a fucking pedestal like every John and yeah, from Amherst to Lackawanna <laughs> here. But with that said, uh, love that. Love the deal nights featured on there as well. Again, I can't, I gotta stop doing ads for Buffalo Wing Coalition right now. We are sponsored <laughs> by Herbal IQ, but glad to be here with Luke, Nick, and Tom before we get into it. Gents, uh, let's go around the horn. Uh, drums or flats? I like to say 67%. Okay. I'm going for a drum. Okay. 33, I'm going for the flat drums every time. <laughs> I think I'm leaning more towards flats because they carry more sauce. So I think I'm a flat for that. It's so funny because you're like, oh, I'm like at odds with someone who's yours. That, that's actually your perfect wing relationship. Right. Right there. So. Before we get into these wings, the hot honey Cajun. Any, anything else you want to say about wings? Well, we got the platform here on the review. 376 Grand Street Gypsy Parlor. I really like wings. I wouldn't say that we would normally order a hot honey Cajun as like yeah. number one, but when you show up to a place and they're like, hey, this is our secret one on the side, or this is one that a local made, or something that we're known for, you just order. You just get 20 of them. You go. Apparently you go. a regular made these yeah. to make their way to the menu. A stoner special, stoner Tommy? Stoner special. special. This, right, this right here is a must always. Always get a side hot. of their hot. Yeah. Always. Always get a side of their hot. All right, well, let's dig in, guys. The hot isn't always the go-to flavor. You got to ask what's good. For so so we got to go for a flat. So we got a number of flavors. You're not blind here if you're watching on wing reviews. Uh, uh, what were these other flavors that you guys ordered while we're getting into the hot honey cake? So we got hot garlic parm. We got Cajun barbecue. And then these are the regular hot things. Right? So yeah, looks like they got a little pepper on them. They're not your traditional franks and butter. So hey, I like that. Stepping outside the box a little bit. Well, let's do the... Uh, All right, so... Cheers. Wait, what are you getting? You got an invisible wing over there? I think I'm going to go with the hot. Okay, okay you're going to so go with the yeah, hot. First, yeah. You're going with the hot. We're going with the hot on occasion. Let's see Gypsy Parlor, what you got. Gypsy Parlor 376, Grand Street. Wow. Crispy out of the layer. A little crunch, a lot of crisp. A little crunch, a lot of crisp. That's what I'm noticing. Tommy. A lot of crunch. Yep. He sat for a little while, but they still maintain their consistency. The honey pops, but it's got its wing as well, right? You gotta dive into the honey on Now, some folks will criticize me in our like account. Wings. They'll say you can't get wings to go and review them. I think people are ordering wings all the time to go. That's a fair review. I just think it's a completely Wait, different Wait, when you game. close the lid, though? That's it. I mean, it's an honest game, but it's a different comes game. Down, it gets less crisp. I agree it's, it's a different layer, yeah. but like to say that you can't review a to-go wing, I mean, there are tens of thousands and hundreds of millions to-go wings ordered every year. Yeah, and by the time we get our wings, we take our 47 pictures, it's pretty much just to go wing at that point. <laughs> exactly. right? so, Think of a place like Wingstop. So, like, you're getting, like, two-go wings every single time. They're known for that. So, obviously, it's a thing. But here in Buffalo, it's so sacred that you're just like, we need to have these within the first five minutes and then we'll just... I'll tell you what, if this wing delivers like the last one did, Gypsy Bar is going to be putting up a number right now. So, Layla. see. Layla? <laughs> Make sure we're gonna have a good walk, okay? <laughs> She's like, you better give me a wing. <laughs> <laughs> we got the pups of the neighborhood looking for wings. Who isn't today, though? Seriously, 716 day, always a great day to have wing, perfect wing day to collab with our BWC boys. What a perfect made up holiday, we were just talking about that. If you could have a buffalo pizza strength, what would be the five things? It would be like eating 50 wings, drinking a 30 of Labatt, 
traveling six feet of snow. Going six feet of snow. By far. Having a heartbreaking loss. Watching any Bills vs. <laughs> Chiefs game, yep, I'm gonna say. Yep. Well, I'm ready to zone in. Are yep. you guys ready to zone in? Yeah. Okay. So I went Hot Honey Cajun exclusively. Me too. They were very crispy, very good, well cooked. Sauce is phenomenal. It's like I don't want to fall all the way in love with them, but it's kind of tough, Tommy. Uh, I was tempted to go Dawson Knox, but I'm actually going to go his teammate. Dalton Kincaid, 86. 86 out of 100 for me for the hot honey cake. Really good. Really good. Way above your average dinner wing if you're ordering out. That's what I, uh, for those watching and keeping score at home. What do you got, Tommy? I'm, I'm right around there as well. Probably like an 83. Well, Lee Evans, yeah. Will Andre Reed. On your scale, obviously. So I got to think of our scale. What's it? We, we yeah, what tier it goes into? Yeah, yeah. 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 what category are you thinking? I don't know, I gotta try the other ones, right? Because it all falls together. Sure, sure. Right now I'm thinking players? Possibly? Yeah, well, Quinn Morris action? Quinn yeah. Morris? Yeah. 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 It's, tough, it's tough to put these in the 70s range because there's so many just lingering between that 60s and 70s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These, these, are these are about, these are about, so my, so my dinner wing, quote unquote, is a 75. That's like that's like my average, and I think these are substantially okay. or good enough to say these are better than a dinner wing for yeah. sure, right? Oh, for sure. Uh, so that my, for my tiers, you have dinner wings, and then below those are party wings because you're you're you're, you're awesome. acceptable yeah. level. Well, lunch, well, lunch wings are like a little bit below there. They're yeah. like a seventy. You know, if you have those cold, you'll have those any state. Lunch is a desperate time, especially yeah. during a weekday. How are we feeling about leftover wings? Uh, great. Yeah. I mean, well, there's always kind of a flexibility. I'd say now here's a funny thing. I think I'm a flat guy, but I think that a drum is more fun to eat when it's cold. Definitely. The the clubby upper part of a drum way better when it's like kind of like rock good. hard. Little but I have to agree with that. Yeah. 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 Crispy corn. I won't eat a leftover wing. Yeah. Yeah. Either way. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll eat the crispy part all. off of a drum, but that's not. Oh you stop. man. I won't eat it. Isn't it weird feeling? I'll eat anything that's edible, but when it comes to like a cold wing the next day, it's just not not my cup of tea. Now the problem is you can actually strip the wings. Multi purpose though. Yeah. Throw them in some mac and cheese. Yeah, that's a little too Throw them in some eggs in the morning. Practice. Too much work. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, with that, sir, are you, filling us out, are you filling us out of receiver's room? A bunch of 80s or <clears throat> bringing in a Bruce Smith? Yeah, I would put this around. Don't don't feel pressure. Average. We hate peer pressure on reviews. So no, you gotta make your I, own I don't feel any pressure. Spencer Brown it all the way through. A little, little rough start. But I'm thinking high 70s. Pressure. Okay. Where, 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 where I wish I would shoot in golf, but I don't, you know. Uh. It's like me on the front nine. <laughs> so, well, I think that's as close as I'm going to get the brothers to. Tommy, BWC, Falas here. Thank you very much for joining me here at Gypsy Parlor 376 Grand Street. And I guess the quest is kind of complete here for Good Wings Now. Happy 716th day.